Hello, Pocahontas. Quay, John Smith. Quay? Quay is the word for hello in Virginia Algonquian. Algonquian is a Native American language spoken by the Powhatan people. We are planting some seeds today. We are friends and we are working together. There are three steps to the process. Follow these steps and you can grow anything. Having seeds is the first step in starting a garden. You can grow vegetables, herbs, or flowers at home with very little space, even in the winter. Number one thing you need is seeds. We have a variety of seeds, beans and seminal pumpkins, which we got from trading with the Seminole Native Americans. We also have Native American maize or corn, radishes, lettuce, and dinosaur kale. All these vegetables germinate fast, but at different paces. Some like to take their time and others are fast, like a deer. So it will be great to observe the whole process and all their stages of growth. The second thing to consider is a container. You can grow in anything that holds the soil, a recycled yogurt container or a flower pot. It could be a fun project to do with a parent. That brings us to item number three, which is the growing medium. As we mentioned, it could be soil or water. We use paper towels. We put the towel sheets in a clear plastic food container, which we recycled. It is clear and will let the sunlight in. Some seeds need sunlight, others prefer darkness. The container is excellent as we can close it tight, which will help retain or hold water. It creates more stable conditions for our seeds and protects them from drying. Let's put some seminal pumpkin seeds here. These pumpkins do very well in hot climates. They can climb and hang from trees. They were growing wild even before humans came to be. Here we have some beans. They are an excellent source of protein, very easy to grow and beneficial to the soil. I am distributing the seeds equally. Next, we plant our maize or corn. Here comes the lettuce and here is our kale. Last but not least come the radish seeds. We put all the seeds in the container. Look how different they are. Some are tiny like lettuce or kale, some are medium like maize or corn, and others are big like pumpkins and beans. All seeds need the right combination of water, oxygen, and the right temperatures to grow. It is time to water the seeds. A paper towel will store the water for the seeds. Seeds will drink or absorb water through their skin, called the seed coat. After they get enough water, seeds start to grow or sprout, which means they grow roots and later stems and leaves to absorb sunlight. At first, seeds need only water to sprout. They get all their food, called nutrients, from the inside of the seed. After germination, they grow roots, which allows them to get nutrients or food from the soil. We are going to close the container and let the seeds absorb the water. We will leave them in a spot on the table, which gets some sunlight and will help them grow. Day one. We look at the seeds and evaluate changes. First, we look at the pumpkins. There is no change. They look the same for now. Now maize, it looks the same and there has yet to be growth. The beans are next and there is no difference here. Kale remains the same. The lettuce, we can see them sprouting. But John, look at the radishes. They're already sprouting and growing roots. They literally grew overnight. Day two. Let's look at our seeds and see which grew and how much. These are radish seeds. They're already growing leaves. You can see them doing really well. They grow very fast indeed. Here are lettuce seeds. They mix in with the radish seeds a little, but we can see them sprouting. Kale is starting to sprout as well. Beans are not germinating just yet. Maize is starting to grow. You can see them sprout here. That's exciting. And the last one are pumpkins. They still need to grow. Day three. Look at the radishes. They are unstoppable. They are very fast growing vegetables. The lettuce is doing great as well, sprouting tiny leaves. Kale seeds here. We can see that more and more of them are sprouting. And here are the bean seeds. They are growing roots. 
you can see how their seed coat is breaking and coming off. May seeds are showing roots. Some germinated faster, and the roots are longer. They are all sprouting at this point. Finally, the pumpkin seeds. They are not growing yet and taking the longest. Day four. We have a radish forest here. The stems are much longer and the leaves are bright green. They look very healthy. The lettuce is accelerating as well. All the seeds germinated at this point. Kale is doing very well. Notice how the leaves are pale at first. Most of the beans are germinating. The corn or maize is doing fantastic. Some roots are pretty long. How about our pumpkin? I see a sprout. Very good. They took the longest. We can cover them with a paper towel to limit the light, which might help them grow. Day five. We can remove the paper and see the progress. The radishes are a few inches tall now, and the lettuce is growing fast. Kale seeds are at different stages of germination. Some seeds are just starting to sprout. Beans have tremendous growth. Look at the corn. It's sprouting even more. Tiny leaves and stalks are emerging. They have a nice green hue. Some of the roots are so long. Finally, the pumpkins. We have only one seed that has sprouted so far. It is growing well. Day six. Look at this amazing mini garden. You can use green sprouts like this to make a very nutritious salad. These sprouts are called microgreens. They are edible and healthy. Look at the beans. They look like an animal. They remind me of dragons. The roots are attached to the paper. Corn is growing very well and the leaves look like grass. Corn, in fact, is a grass. Our one pumpkin is growing fast. You can see more seeds germinating as well. Day seven. We are going to put some of the radish sprouts in a salad. It looks so good and pretty, it must be very healthy. Yes, John, microgreens are called a superfood. You can also put them on a sandwich. You can cut some off, allowing them to regrow or eat the whole seedling. You can plant your seedlings in a garden or a container outside and let them grow, just like this lettuce. I hope you have enjoyed this experiment. You can grow seeds as well. It's a joyful and very rewarding experience.